Thank you, my fellow Toastmasters. Good evening. How are you doing today? My name is Keith Harrison, and it feels good to finally do my icebreaker. I tried to do this last month, but we all know here at Full Sail, we have five o'clock classes. Today, I'm going to talk about a, a topic that's very dear to my heart, and I'm sure you're going to love it too, and it's about me. <laughs> I was born in 1970-something. <laughs> To an African American mom and a dad, I couldn't tell you what he was. So I'm a little bit mixed up with a lot of things. And I was born in Johnston, South Carolina. And when I say Johnston, South Carolina, sometimes people just say Charleston, South Carolina, because it's more known. And I'm like, no, Johnston, South Carolina, a real small town. It's actually known for as being the peach capital of the world. The time you get into Johnston, you see the sign, peach capital of the world. Georgia is the peach state, but Johnston is the peach capital of the world. If you don't believe me, come with me sometime and do a 360 degree turn. All you can see is peaches. To this day, I don't eat peaches. I lived in a very small town, as you can tell, country town. It was even, even a cow pasture across the street. And sometimes the cows would get loose and we would be late for school because who's going to push a cow out of the way? The town, was so, <laughs> the town was so small that two towns adjacent from us, we shared the same high school. It was Johnston, my town, Edgefield, and Trenton. So what that means is sometimes there will be more people in school than in each individual town. <laughs> going back to my town, sometimes you feel like you're going back in time. It was, I have to admit, a little backwards sometimes. The mayor might be the sheriff. He might be the postman, he might have all, all those hats, you just never know. And you really can't get a house for a song then. So after graduation, I enlisted in the United States Army. It was a great, great thing to do. I had fun, but I found that it wasn't for me at the time. But I had a great experience. I got to travel the world. Um, actually, my recruiter ended up marrying my second cousin. So. I told him, I will see you someday after getting me into this. <laughs> but I have never seen him since then. I talked to him on the phone. I told him it's okay now. That's been years ago. But he still won't, won't, won't look me in my eye. <laughs> and then I went on to work for a company called Bridgestone Firestone. It's a tire company. I was making great money. I was the manager, the supervisor, the man, if you will. But I was always on the internet looking at something entertainment-wise. And I just wanted to do something entertainment-wise. And I knew a Full Sail ever since 1996. I will always see the ads, get brochures in the mail. But I don't, I don't know, it's just something in me didn't get me down here. But I did save my pennies. I said, one day I'm gonna be here to Full Sail. And I got down here in September 07 and recorded arts. And I graduated September 08 and recorded arts. Now I'm in the music business bachelor's program in my fifth month, and I plan to do the master's program as well. And in this time, I met some friends that now I consider family, and now I'm meeting friends here in Toastmasters. It's just, it's just a great thing to be a part of. Also, my wife says I, had, I have to do this. <laughs> I'm one of the few students that's actually married so I don't have to worry about finding a date at Full Set. I mean, Full Male University. <laughs> and I get a, it's, it's, I don't know, it's a wonderful thing. I am just so happy to be a part of this. I hope I can continue to grow with Toastmasters. I brought along some friends. Hopefully they'll be doing their next icebreaker pretty soon. And in closing, I'd like to say thank you for your time. And I appreciate it.